Hello to uh, welcome to the game called Black. Also, a game contains flashing lights, certain amount of gore, blood, and suggestive unsettling themes, not suitable for all audience. Rated 18. If you're younger than 18, uh, take this as your official warning, whether you listen to it or not. Therefore, viewer discretion is advised. So this is your official warning. You probably won't take it, but this is your warning. I see. We're just, we're right into it. Okay. So we got hide, go away, come closer, keep your distance. I'm obviously going to come closer. Oh, I see. That's what it meant. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, I can't see my cursor anymore, but it's fine. Hold on. Just to be... Yeah, perfect. Uh, where's my cursor, though? Go away, hide. Go away, hide. I'm gonna say hide. Hi! Oh, fuck. I- Hi! Hi! My name's Aiden. I'm... Yeah, enter name. Well, technically neither of these, if we want to go with the exact definition, but I'll just say a man, because I am indeed male. I am a man. Yes. God, this is, this is unsettling. Am I dead? That's a good question. <laughs> am I dead, buddy? You seem very alive to me. Well, that's good. I, I like that. Do you like that? I like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I use Irish Spring. Very, very typical. Very cliche. I know. I, I really should go now. No, you should say thank you. He told us we smelled nice. Oh, well, see. See, now you seem a bit forceful. Well... You know, normally I was taught not to uh, walk with random strangers, you know, but you just seem so friendly and kind. Not at all creepy. What do you want from me? Good question. Shuffling noises. Oh! E! Mm. You know what? You know what? You know, I... You're my host. You're my host, and I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be rude, you know? I'll... I'll eat it. Yeah. Yeah, you're the host. I don't want to be rude. You know, I don't want to shove this kindness back in your face. Mm. I slide the meat away. It's warm blood feels gross and sticky in my hands. Thank him. He's watching you. Expectantly. Ask what it is. Yeah, what is it? What is this fine dish I eat? You know what? How about we just we just skip to the end? You know, it's like he's just looking at me expectantly, so I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna ask what it is first. Actually, well, you know what? You know, I think because I'm assuming there's like different endings. So I on this oh, this is a quick save. Oh hell yeah! Hold on, I can't see my cursor by the way, so this is like. I am completely guessing at where it is. Quick save. Hell yeah. Okay, okay. Eat it raw. Oh, crunching, meaty, dripping noises. Oh, ASMR, it's finest. Okay, this silence is eerie, but the creature seems to be willing to talk to me to a certain degree. Don't call him a creature. Don't call it a creature. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. 
Be kind. This is a really nice place you have. You're a bit dark, but uh, you see, yes. Compliment the host's place, but uh, nice. Yeah, it's cozy, I guess. It's cozy. You know, it's nice and cozy. I just feel... It's, mm, he's just blinking at me. I... Have you been living here for long? I'd prefer dialogue. Where are you from? That's not what I asked. Be evasive to all the... I'm just gonna be honest, man. I'm from... I don't remember. Something is... Oh! Well, that's not good. I don't remember. Something is wrong with my memory. The last thing I recall is waking up amidst the rubble. Hmm. And you? Here. Here. This is your home. In this, it's a lovely place. I'll just repeat that. It's a lovely place. How long have you been here? Long. Hmm. Well, time is relative. Also, not real. Soon it'll get dark and cold. Yes, that's what's called night. Aren't you cold? Shrugs. I'm gonna start a fire. I'm a quick save before. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm just gonna proper save. Yeah, we're just. We're gonna. Sa I want to go home. What is this? You know what? We'll look at those at the end. Return. We're gonna start a fire. I'm starting to fire. All right. Well, fuck you too, mate. <laughs> well, yeah, very out of the blue. Uh, I'm just gonna say thanks, I guess. Listen, the man had his... I, if I recall, the man had a spear. I have not... I have fire. I'm, I'm gonna be civil. Thank you. Thank you. Oh... What are you doing, man? That, you, your teeth, those, mm. Is he? Are you sharpening your fucking teeth? Oh, sharpening his spear. That makes so much more sense. More gurgling noises. My god. You know what this reminds me of? It, it's a game that I I watched Mark play on a three scary games. It's like it's the one. It's it's the thumbnail of the video. I forget which which three scary games it was because the man has like a the man is ninety something now. But it's um it's the one where it's like yours. It's don't open your eyes. That's the name of the game. Don't open your eyes. Anyway, go search up Mark's Three Scary Games for Don't Open Your Eyes. Good game, good game. I'm not going to play it because I already know what happens. A lot of games Mark plays that I've already seen, it's like, I can't play because guess what? I already know what happens. It's like, it wouldn't be as fun for me. Yeah, what is he doing? I've been ranting about Mark. The creature is fucking gone. I'm just going to eat. Listen, the man told me to sleep. I'm going to... I'm... We're going to save again. How many endings does this have? Like, how many? Also, I like how I'm just outing myself on what time it is. The dark came really fast. Well, I fucking imagine it would, but there's no way I'm sleeping. What do you mean? He's probably waiting in the shadow for me to lower my guard and then, what? Nothing. Why are you so judgmental? Kill me? No. Or eat me? Oh, maybe. I need to find him. Better stay here. Let's be brave. I don't know. Being brave was not a good decision. The fire. Oh, it got fucking cold. I grip one of the logs and start to wave it around blindly. 
show yourself, mate, it's so dark. Even if it showed itself, it's it's not gonna help. You coward. I am a coward. What do you want from me? A man is good. Very, very good. I don't like that. He's gone. What the fuck? That's it? I need to find him. The coals are still hot after blowing on them. Awakens again. Your hands are shaking a little as you take up a log from the bonfire. And then you enter the darkness. Because why the fuck not? Well, I, I did say find him, so... I feel tense. Like a live wire. My insides... <laughs> are twisting. It's so dark. I don't like that light coming from that rim. Well, that wasn't there before. <laughs> mm. You won't scare me. You hear me? I'm terrified. This ends now. What's a, it, He's giving you hospitality. He has been kind to you, sir. Goodness gracious. There's a passage. Also, whoever did the art for this, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's it's very rough, but I think that lends itself well to this game. Uh, lake. That's a lake. That's what you call a lake. That water is not so good, my guy. At least I what? No, you will. Look at that water. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. You're gonna die of so many diseases if you drink that. I look around, but the darkness is too thick. Seems there's nothing here. Yeah, except you and the disease lake. The lake of poison, the lake of acid. Oh, not acid, probably poison, if anything. I turn around, ready to enter the passage again, when suddenly... What? I see him. In all his glory, because it's a pretty light room. On the ground. Sleeping. Or pretending to. No, he's sleeping, my guy. What do you mean you barely hold back the urge to vomit? He's monstrous. Let me see him. It's the ugliest, most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, don't be rude. Carefully. Ever so carefully, I take his spear. Now armed, I know what I must do. Don't fucking kill him. Jesus fucking Christ. You're just gonna kill everything that looks ugly to you? Come on, dude. It's horrible. I look at him in the dark. He sleeps peacefully with a smile. Somewhat creepy, but also, he also seems content. As ugly as this creature may be, he looks like a child. Plus, he probably is the mental age of a child, man. He hasn't had a lot of growth or communication with people. I hesitate, and... <sighs> He stirs in his sleep. The light from the torch wakes him. He immediately widens his eyes and jumps back into the darkness, hissing, which I'm assuming is that wonderful noise I'm hearing. He's patting the ground, frantically searching for his spear. Oh my god, why am I such an asshole? My character is just such an asshole. It's like, listen, listen. Yeah. Yeah, maybe eating the meat was not the best decision. I honestly, honestly, I agree with everything that I have done except for eating the meat and threatening him with the weapon. Like, come on, dude. You are scared of him, so you're gonna kill him? What? That's a very human thing to do. It's a very human thing to do. Very human thing. I grip the spear tighter, my heart exploding in my chest. Just give him the fucking spear! What? No, hold on. Hold on now. Hold on. I have issues with this. Why do you need a good reason to not kill him? He has not given you a reason to kill him. Like, let's be real here. 
He's been creepy. Now, why has he been creepy? Probably because he hasn't had any communication with anyone like us or anyone civil in a very long time. He's doing the best he can, probably. I'm not gonna lie. I think he's doing the best he can. I think he's being as civil as he can be. We don't have a good reason to kill him. He, this isn't a thing of him needing to give us a good reason to not kill him. This is just us being an asshole. He lunges at me. Yeah, you'd fucking deserve it. I brace for impact, but instead he runs past me into the tunnel. Yeah, because you know why? He's fucking scared. The tunnel leads me back to the bonfire. Wary, I scan my surroundings in search of him ready to attack. Why are you ready to attack? I'm not scared of you. My god, man, he's scared of you. He's a child. You said it yourself. Look. No, you don't. Since when have we established that he wants to eat you? Since when? You were the one who thought that. He has given you nothing to back that up. He gave you me? That honestly could have been from anything. I didn't really analyze it, and it didn't look like it was from a human. But I didn't ask what it is either, so that's on me. But he gave you meat. He told you that it was going to get dark soon. You lit a fire. You lit a fire. Well, the one thing he really seemed scared of, which is light, by the way, he let you light. And you're saying he wants to eat you. Man, if he wanted to eat you, you'd be fucking dead. But what do you mean? But it doesn't have to be that way. Are you kidding me? You're the asshole here. We don't have to be enemies. You're the asshole. I'm not so sure he was even the one who fucking attacked you, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't even think he was the one who attacked you. I honestly to God think you hallucinated that. Because when you found him, he was fucking asleep. We can help each other. My gosh. As a sign of my good intentions, I let the spear fall to the ground. I... It's risky, but it's the only... Man, I hope you get stabbed. I hope my character gets stabbed. Stomach growls. He gave you his only food, motherfucker. What's your answer? Yeah, you should be... Yeah, your tummy aches. You know why? Because you gave me your food, and how do I repay you? By being a fucking dick. I've never eaten a Naira before, and at this point, I deserve it. No, it won't. It'll still ache, my guy. It'll still ache. So maybe if I eat you, my belly won't hurt anymore. You don't need to eat me to get better, on the contrary. It'll get you even sicker. No, I tried everything else. I always puke. You're the only thing left to try. Damn. That's why you're sick. You probably have some kind of indigestion or stomach virus. Eating random things won't cure you. Okay, okay, well, that's fair. I'm starting to talk some sense again. Eating random, you need medicine. I don't know if he needs medicine. He might need medicine. For how long have you been feeling like this? What, a, what was I, a doctor? Fucking Christ. A couple of days? My guy, you're complaining about a couple of days? Well... I've gone without eating for like three days at most. I just forgot. I just forget to eat sometimes. 
it, it even after three days it's it's I, I i woke up on the third day and then i was like fuck did i eat yesterday and i was like no and i was like did i eat the day before and i was like no and i was like why is my stomach not hurting and then an hour later my stomach was like hey man we need some food can you find someone to help you there's no one to ask there's never been anyone here never until you I was thinking of eating you that's true okay but I didn't try to yet okay I still think I'm the asshole because he hasn't tried to eat me yet so I was basing it off of nothing but my own assumption but also fuck you What? Don't lie, I clearly saw you, and you just said there's no one else here. No one. Yes. See? Only them. Them? Nods. See, see, now we're getting into those things. See, now we're getting into the good stuff. What things? They become your nightmares. Your fears. I don't know how they do it, but they do. They can ever get in here if you are not careful. They can even get in here if you are not careful. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that there are creatures here? Enter your thoughts and materialize your fears. Okay, cool. So it wasn't you who tried to kill me, and I'm just imagining it. Yes. I was right. He was just imagining it. I, it was wherever there's white... They can show you scary things. Have you not noticed that? Do you mean white or light? I read white. You might mean light. It might have also said light, and I'm just an idiot. I don't know. I scoff, incredulous. All this situation seems too much absurd and discordant to me. Then why didn't he let me go outside and let them kill me if you were so afraid of me? No, he just told you he wasn't afraid of you. He just told you, at the very beginning, he said you weren't scary. I wanted to know you first. And now that you know me, what's the verdict? You seem nice. How do I seem nice? How was he a jerk? I'm confused at this whole affair. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm just... I, listen... I thought he was creepy at the beginning, but the more my character acts and talks, the more I think that I'm just an asshole. Ex he wasn't! Forcing me to follow you, not answering questions, telling me I smell nice. The smell nice thing was creepy. Everything else I get. Listen, for someone who hasn't communicated with another human being for a long time, I, I get the first two. The telling me I smell nice, that was a bit weird, man. It's a bit weird. Is that rude? I don't I don't think the first two were that rude. You said it like you wanted to cook me and eat me as dessert. Okay. I read it that way too, I'm not gonna lie. I read it yeah, I read it that way pretty much, yeah. I shouldn't probably give him ideas. But you do. I smell of sweat and dirt. That's good. Okay, see now I'm confused. Well, compared to him, I might uh, smell, this will smell like a flowery meadow. But am I believing this? Yes! Yeah. Alright, then what was about that smile you gave me while sharpening your spear? My spear? I wasn't sharpening anything. Yeah, that's just the sound of his fucking bones as he smiled. He seems genuinely confused. Then what was that sound? He suddenly goes quiet, he seems hesitant, almost timid, he brings a closed fist to his chest. Then he looks at you, quickly lowering his gaze again. Something rolls and stops short in front of you. What's this? I don't know, fucking pick it up, let me see it, motherfucker. It's some kind of wrapping, I pick it up. Inside there's a strange black stone. 
they're afraid of this color. If you paint your face and clothes with it, they'll leave you alone. That's why you're black. Didn't you want to eat me? As if the answer to that question is almost too much for him, he leaves before you can say something else. And leaves the spear behind. I'm left here alone. I examine the rock in my hand. It's some sort of charcoal. Oh my god! That leaves a sticky black powder on my skin, turning it pitch black. I'm about to toss the wrapping aside when at the last moment I realize that it's a paper folded in two. Opening it, I find something unexpected. He's drawing! Sketched on it, in a clear child fashion, are two figures holding hands. The creature and I. I look at the drawing in my hands, at the charcoal, and then outside. It's still dark, but soon the sun will rise. I'm staying with them! Whoa, uh, so I can flee, I can stay with them, or I can kill them. I'm gonna stay with them. I step over the spear and go into the darkness. I see him by a lake, crouched with his feet dangling over the water, his arms around his belly, his back to me. Kid? He turns his eyes towards me. I extend my hand. He takes it. My memory is slowly starting to come back to me. I was a passenger in a ship flying towards a new home. We crashed. No one else seems to have survived except me. The little guy confirmed it. Apparently he saw everything. He was investigating the wreckage when he found me. And now I know I was lucky that he did. I tried asking him again where he comes from. Or if we were on the same ship. But he can't answer me. He doesn't remember. The only thing I know is that he came here many years ago. I suspect he might have even been born here. And has been living here ever since. Alone. I still don't know what. Or who. Caused the crash. Or my temporary amnesia. I don't even know if someone will ever come find me. Maybe. I hope. But until then. I don't want to live my days in fear inside a cave. And neither does he. Sure he's creepy. So much creepy. That I sometimes that sometimes I wonder why he chose to stay. And he had those teeth, for instance, and that rough, cracked black skin with those luminescent eyes that in the dark looked really scary. But when he took my hand lovingly, like a child to a parent, I knew by the feeling in my heart that I did the right thing. He just needed someone to guide him, to protect him, to love him. And that someone was me. Are you sure? Can you give him a name besides Kid? It's like at least fucking Atreus had a name. I mean, it fucking Kratos never fucking uses it. It's boy. But like, come on. Kid, really? Are you sure? Aren't you scared? No? Why should I? Because whatever those mysterious things are, we'll face them. Together. Right. Ending five of nine? The true ending? I got the true ending on my first fucking time. Guys, this is a lesson. Just don't be an asshole. But seriously. What was that meat you gave me? <laughs> no. I don't... Okay, cool. That was... That was easy. That was easy to get the true ending. The, the true ending was literally don't be an asshole. Keepers of time. Cool. Marcel Wares. Colin Hude. Uh, Huang Ye. Uh, Mako17. Chris. Hi there, thank you so much for playing the game. Really hope you enjoyed it. I did. I apologize for any grammar mistakes or misspellings. I hope there are not too many. I didn't see any that jumped out at me, so good job. Um, I'm not really a grammar Nazi, though. I made this in two weeks? My god, man. 
Well, the system's not that complicated. The most complicated thing would be making the art. Um, so if you had someone to do that, or if you did it yourself, that would explain why they look rough. But I think the rough, the rough art style really helps, I think. I don't know. I think if this game had, like, I don't know. I feel like having a super refined art style in this game would honestly like take away from it a lot. But the, this more painterly rough style really helps, I think. I like it, at least. I like it for this game. Gotcha. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see any bugs or anything. Let me soft forms for inspiring me to make the game. Have a nice day. Sweet! Wow! Ooh, okay, so 31 minutes. I got one ending. Uh... Okay, okay, I'll cut a lot. But... We're gonna get... Th these last, like, eight endings probably gonna be real quick. A lot of cutting. But I'll get them. I'll get them for you all. See you in the see you at the next ending, I guess. Okay, I'ma flee. I'ma just go I'ma flee and die. I told you to sleep. Fucking Christ. What was the ending? What of what? Ending four of nine sweet dreams. Okay, cool. Come on. I don't like not knowing where my mouse is. Um, I hope to God you saw ending four of nine, which was just he murdered me basically when I tried to leave. Um, but now I'm gonna murder him. Oh, so many stabs, Jesus fucking Christ. Keep stabbing until I, I just killed a kid. Disgusted, I head outside by the lake to clean it all away. What a night. Yeah, you killed a kid. After the event, I barely managed to sleep. I think I should head outside for it's almost... I head outside now. It's almost morning. Check for provisions in the creature's lair. The iron in the air is nauseous and sugary. I feel it sticking inside my lungs. I rummage through the creature's things. There's nothing useful, but I'll take the spear. I then check the corpse to see if I missed something. Hey, can I get the drawing? There isn't much to scavenge. With a sigh, damn. I'm starting to remember. When did I crash here? Where is here? And most importantly, are there other survivors? Did that monster get to them first? At least, now he won't threaten anybody else ever again, right? Come, come into the light, friend. Yeah. Yeah. Ending. Oh? Ending secret of night? That, this game, man. This game gets freaking curious and curious, sir. Words, yes. Okay, um, sleep, uh, flea was death. Uh, I'm not gonna do that again. I hope you guys saw it. I don't know when I accidentally paused it. Um, it doesn't matter which I pick because they're going to be here anyway. Um, I really should have saved at every point that I made a choice. That would have made this process a lot easier. I think I'm going to save after, um, after the choice of me not murdering him. I think I'm going to save. Okay, okay, just skipping all this dialogue. Just so much, um, 
Save. 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 Perfect. There it is. Okay, uh, I said yes last time, so I'm going to say yes again. Okay, there we go. Perfect. A drawing, child fashion, still dark, but soon the sun will rise. Saving again? Solid. Okay, okay, okay. Last time I did stay with him. I'm going to murder him. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to stab him in the throat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stab him in the back. Quick, merciless death. Can't see his expression. And, fall, and his body tumbles and falls down to the lake. I'll never know what he felt. Surprise. Betrayal. I don't care. Because I'm an asshole. All I know is how ungracefully the body hits the water, disappearing into the depth before surfing his skin shortly after. Blood pouring out. Turning the pristine, it was not pristine, that shit was green as fuck, into an expanding pool of red. I clean the spear, and then I'm out. Just for a brief second, a sense of something claws at the inside of my stomach, something like guilt. Y you should be guilty, you killed a child. Then it's gone. He did say he wanted to kill me after all, fair point. Fair point. He didn't really though, not, not. I rub my skin with charcoal and toss the drawing on the floor. You kind of remember now. There was a crash, and no one else you seemed to have survived. Oh, me and Daddy, except I, Daddy fucking murdered you. You're very far, far from home, but you hope that someone will come rescue you. Someday, eventually. Until then, you will be alone. You monster, ending two of nine cold blooded. Thanks, man. Thanks, bro. I am aware that I am a monster. I got the true ending the first time, okay? And then I got the secret ending, like, the third time. So I am doing pretty well for myself. There it is. I, I can't see my cursor, man. It's like, it's hard. It's hard without being able to see my cursor. And I can't use the arrow keys either, because I have the arrow keys, like... Like, for my recording setup, they do things. I grab the spear resolutely and heads towards the first rays of light. Step sounds. Not sure about those scary creatures afraid of the color black, but I use the charcoal anyway. One can only be so careful, especially in my situation. Because I remember now. I was on a ship, we crashed, no one else me except that creature. But something tells me they came here way before me. Maybe on another ship. But anyway, I don't know what planet I am. Nor if someone will ever come get me someday, eventually. But until then, I'll survive. And whatever this mysterious things may be, I'll face them. Alone. And in one of nine, every man for himself. Cool. Not the best one. But it sure is a ending. Um, okay. Load. So I've done all of that. So now let's get into this guy. So I've gotten, um, fuck. God damn it. God damn it, Bobby. Okay, so me bearing with it. Sleep. It's dark came. Watch from the shadows. Beat me. Oh, I, I want to see what the difference is here, because... I don't have a fire anymore. Well, there we go, ending seven of nine. Watch your steps. I'm not staying here anymore. Instant fucking death. Okay, I like it. Okay, cool. Uh, bear with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen yourself? Oh, wait, neither have I. Ha ha ha. He laughs. I laugh. We all laugh. The monster in the back laughs. The demons laugh. Everyone laughs. We're all having a good old grand time. You know, you know how it is. Sleep. Okay, okay. 
the creature is gone. Yeah, sleep, definitely. The dark came really fast, knows where I'm sleeping. Um, well, I'll find him. Is it the same deal? Same deal, I'm assuming, as last time? I just die? Uh-huh. I'm not staying here any longer. Okay, ending 7 of 9, watch your steps. Okay, but what if I... Bear with it, and then I flee. Okay. Cool. Flee. Okay, same deal? Death? Yeah? I told you to sleep. Is it four? Four of nine? Yeah, sweet dreams. Okay, 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 okay. So I, I kind of have to, I kind of have to um, start from the beginning now. Um, yeah, I kind of have to start from the beginning. So yeah. But yeah, let's fucking do it. So I, I've, I've done one, two, four. Five seven. I I need. I have four more. Who are you? Who are? Yeah, that's not. Is that the only thing you can say? No. Who are you? Eh, get away from me. Am I that scary? Good. Okay. Who are you? Okay. I'm not going to answer you. I'm being obstinate. You're rude. Kind of. It's kind of the point right now. Where am I? Where is this place? Here. Yeah, I'm gonna need I'm needing to be a bit more descriptive. You don't talk much, do you? Well I was giving him the silent treatment too, so like I don't know, we're on the same boat. You have a nice smell. Thanks, man! It's kind of fucking creepy. No, stay. Come. No. Come. What do you want from me? I'm not hungry. Eat. No. Eat. Fuck. Oops. No. Wait, can I roll back? Roll back. Eat. No. I want to roll back. Roll back. Roll back. Roll back. No! Why not? I... Because you can't force people to eat if they don't want to. Why? Because it's not polite. But you're not polite. You are rude. I have been rude. Because you were also being rude to me. You did not... He tosses the meat to you anyway. Fuck you too. Leave it there. You leave it there, not daring to pick it up. The soil soaks it up. Blood, purple around it. What did you say? That's fucking right. That's fu we'll just stare at each other. Okay. Silence is eerie. Be aggressive. Who are you? Why did you bring me here? What do you want? Speak, damn you. That's not what I asked. Where are you from? Be evasive. Somewhere you wouldn't know. That's a lot of places, honestly. Okay, well, fuck. Damn it. Roll back, roll back, roll back, roll back. Mm. Uh, I know where all these options take me. Fuck. Cook it. Do you mind if I cook it? Okay, what? Well, that, that makes the fire. Fuck. Smells funny, but I have to say it's not bad. I like how he's just in the core. Offer it to the creature. That's new. Do you want to try it? Come on. Here, take a piece. It's good. Try it. I stick the cooked meat on it. Is it good? Is it good? No. Okay, he's puking. Mm. 
Are you alright? You good, mate? Creature? Hey, buddy? You dead? Are you dead over there? Hey, everything okay? What happened? Raw, better. What did you say? Raw's better? Okay, man. I mean, to each their own, I suppose. Fuck. Oh, you didn't choke to death. Damn it. Okay, roll back. I, I bet if I run, it would be another ending. Run away! Oh. Okay, okay, what is this gonna be, like three? Is this gonna be three of three of nine, I'm assuming? Raw, much, much better. Why, thank you. I hope you enjoy the cuisine I'm going to give you with my flesh. Eight of nine, vegan nightmare. Okay, so I need, god damn, I still need so many. Um. Ask what it is. What kind of meat is it? Meat? It's the meat kind of meat? Okay. That's fair. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I can't tell, um... So many things are locked. Why are so many things locked? Oh my god, I have like done nothing apparently. Alright, okay, well I'm ending the video here anyway. I've been doing this for 55 minutes. Um, I don't know how much of that you guys saw. If you guys want me to like actually like finish finish this game, because apparently not only do I have three endings left to do, which are like I think three, six, and nine. So I have endings three, six, and nine left to do. There's also so many more like locked images here, and all these locked images have something to do with an ending. Well, to be fair, I think I think some of these I didn't get the images for because I got the ending, but I clicked out of it and reloaded. But still, you know what I mean? Like, if you want me to do this, depending on how many views I guess this video gets, I'll come back and I'll, like, clean up everything. I don't know. Anyway, I had fun with this. I liked games like this. Um, they, they don't have the most gameplay-wise, obviously. But... What they lack in gameplay, they definitely, um, yeah, main menu, yeah. No, it's like, what they lack in gameplay, they definitely make up for in narrative, obviously, and typically art as well. So yeah, I enjoy them a lot. Um, but anyway, that was, that was black, if, uh, Fuck. That was, yeah. I hope you liked it. I like playing it. Uh, I might come back and play it some more. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Anyway. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.